what's up guys? So, um, I'm sitting here on my bed, in my room, um, answering emails and trying to respond to all you guys who are messaging me, which I absolutely love, and for all of you all who have sweet me, sent me the sweetest messages, um, thank you so much because that just like makes my heart happy. Um, I've got lots and lots of people asking me for some diet tips and for some exercising tips and I'm trying really hard to do more exercise videos but with this prep I am just so exhausted and it takes a lot of work to set the camera up and to video what I'm doing and then to move it and then to make sure I'm in shot because um, Drew and I right now we're doing different workouts we were doing the same ones before and my little girl likes to video me but sometimes that just doesn't work out especially when there's other kids at the gym because of course then she would just rather play but anyways um it's probably a weird angle sorry i'm trying to hold the camera still um i don't know where my tripod is i didn't think about that but i should have just set the camera up on that um anyways so anyways i've got lots and lots of questions about uh tips for dieting and working out so i wrote down some of my favorite or my most helpful, what I could think of, most helpful tips to help you lose weight and to stay on the track. And the first thing I wrote is to drink plenty of water. So here I am with my jug on my bed, answering emails, doing meal plans and so on. And I'm still drinking my water. Like I actually, I'm gonna get a drink right now. All right, so that's my first tip, to drink plenty of water. Um, if you are drinking sodas, cut those sodas out. One, they are expensive. Two, you don't need them. They are terrible for you. Go and get you a gallon jug of water and drink that every day. And if you are like, I do not want to walk around with a gallon jug. I get that. I've worked in an office before, so I know like you just feel uncomfortable and like people are going to judge you because you have your gallon jug. And you're probably right. They will. So take your gallon with you. Buy you a cute little fancy Tervis tumbler and fill it up. And that way you can keep track of what you drank. See if you can drink the whole gallon. And if you can't, that's okay. Then the next day be like, okay, well today instead of drinking seven cupfuls, I'm going to drink eight. And just keep up with that. Cut out the sodas completely. Those are just so bad for you. And I think that the sports drink can also be misleading. They're like loaded with sugar, 200 calories. Drink one of those if you have to, but for sure, no soda. Cut that out. Um, tip number two that I've got wrote down is to prep your meals out. So, I have, like I said, I've worked in the office before, so I know how it is to be tempted when um, everybody's going out for lunch or somebody's going and picking something up for everybody. But if you prep your meal, you have no reason to not eat what you brought. And if you're trying to lose weight because you're unhappy with how you look, then... I mean, it just makes sense. Eat what you brought. Prep your meals out. That way, you know, you're, you can stay on track. And if you're like, for instance, you love Mexican food. I love Mexican food. There's a healthier way can do, you can do that. Take the foods that you like, that you love from whatever restaurant, and try to make it yourself. Because I bet you can make the same thing, just a healthier version of it. Like fajitas. Or if you want fried chicken, don't go to KFC and get a deep fried chicken. Fry the chicken yourself in coconut oil. Um, and that is great fried chicken. And just little stuff like that instead of like mashed potatoes. Maybe do like cauliflower mashed potatoes. My little girl loves those. And she tells me I make the best mashed potatoes in the whole wide world. But then she goes to my mom and she'll say the same thing. So it's kind of like a mashed potato competition. But she does not know that my mashed potatoes are cauliflower. So, that, or if you love french fries, maybe try doing sweet potato fries. Just try to make the healthier decision. And like I said, you can take whatever meal from whatever restaurant that you like, and you can try to do a healthier version of that, and then prep it. That way you have no excuse to eat out at work. And you will save some money doing that as well. And then, if you just feel like you like have to bring something, there are plenty of the frozen meals, which really aren't that bad, like some of the Atkins meals and stuff. I don't eat those, but I do know that um, those are a lot healthier for you than going out to Firehouse Subs. I wish we had one of those around here. It's probably good that we don't. But just for instance, 
and getting, you know, a big, huge, greasy, delicious sandwich. Just saying. Oops, my computer went to sleep on me. Here we go. Um, the next thing I have on here um, is your last meal of the day. Know when to stop eating. And I know that when it's the end of the day and you're done with dinner and then you get down and you're in front of the TV and you're chilling, you want a munch. You want a snack. Don't. That's the worst time. If you have to, try to go for something that's going to be healthy for you. Um, something crunchy like the fat-free popcorn that doesn't have the butter on it. If you read the nutritional value on that, it's really not that bad for you. And that's a lot better than going in the cabinet and getting a little Debbie cake. So if you have to eat something, eat something healthy. But try to know when your cutoff is. And something that I used to do and sometimes I still do is when it's the last meal, then drink a cup of decaf coffee or drink a cup of hot tea and that like calms you down so you know last meal is done this is what I'm having I mean sit there it takes you it's hot so it takes you a while so drink you like a cup of green tea or decaf coffee after your last meal um, or whiten in your teeth like eat your meal brush your teeth put your whitening strips on those stay on 30 minutes who wants to eat after they put those on not me so know when it's your last meal and try not to make that like like you don't want to be like oh it's my last meal it's 10 30. no make it at a reasonable time like 7 30 8 o'clock don't eat after that like i said if you have to if you're a snacker then try just to make a healthy choice for what kind of snack you're going to eat um popcorn greek yogurt um cool whip it really doesn't have a whole lot of anything in it get a spoon of you know the fat free cool whip or maybe like um if you're an ice cream eater i love ice cream my favorite pizza and ice cream I love um, but maybe like a skinny cow ice cream sandwich or something just try to make the healthier choice next I have um, no mindless snacking so that kind of goes in with that at the end of the day when you're wanting to snack but this also is throughout the day so if you're at work and you're a snacker you're at a desk or whatever running around an office and you just kind of want a snack just try to make the healthier choice for your snacks like some of my favorite snacks are rice cakes those are so good they come in like five different flavors pick your favorite flavor put a little bit of peanut butter on them um, if you buy a bag of the whole almonds you can change those almonds any way you want to you can throw a little bit of Splenda throw a little bit of Stevia uh, same thing I've got diet brain right now throw a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of Splenda or Stevia or whatever mix it up put it in the oven and there you go you don't have all of the extra sugar from if you buy like the cinnamon the cinnamon sugar ones um which are very good but we're talking healthy here i keep getting it off track and probably giving you guys bad ideas um or you can change those up if you want to make them spicy put some italian herbs on them or something like i said wet them a little bit put them in the oven just a little bit so the seasoning will set on it um, pretty much anything you want to do with the whole almonds and those are really high protein really good fat so the almonds are a good choice the popcorn again is a good choice um, celery it's like water it's nothing with a little bit of peanut butter um, Greek yogurt that's also a good snack watch as I go down the list I'll think of more snacks so if I think of some more um, I'll let you know uh, my fitness pal app that is like a holy grail for staying on track download that if you do not have it everybody should have my fitness pal it is the best app ever anything that you eat you can pretty much find it on there if you can't find it by searching then you can um usually scan the little barcode on whatever you're eating and or it'll even allow you if you have the nutritional value it will even allow you to um to put it in yourself so the Fitness Pal app, that is a great, great app to have. Like, use it religiously. And then at the end of the week when you're like, oh my God, I didn't lose any weight. If you logged all your food in, just like you're supposed to, then you can look back and be like, oh, well, this is why I didn't lose as much weight as I thought. I actually have a client that I was uh, messaging back and forth this morning. And that was it for her. She was like, her numbers for her macros were just all over the place. And she didn't realize that until she like looked back at the week and she's like well now it makes sense i mean she still lost weight but she could have lost more had her numbers been consistent 
that's a whole different story. I'm rambling on. I am sorry. Anyways, download my fitness pal. It is a great app. Log all your food. Keep track of it. Sleep again. Uh, eat protein with every meal. Protein helps you stay full longer. It's good for you. Helps build muscle. Try to get protein in. And I have so many people tell me who I'm making meal plans for that they don't like fish. Well, fish is so good for you, especially when you're on a diet. Um, those tuna creations, those are also good for a snack. Um, but those, if you could like try to get a little bit of fish in, that's good. If not, but try to get some protein in with every meal. Never skip breakfast is next on my list. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. If you're not going to eat anything all day long, at least eat breakfast. That gets you going. That is when your metabolism needs it the most. You've went, you fasted all night long. Your body's went however many hours without eating. You need to eat breakfast. And last on my list is do not take shortcuts. Do not think that these it work wraps are going to make you lose 15 pounds in a week. It doesn't work. I'm sorry if this offends anybody, but those don't work. They don't. Now, you might have seen on my Snapchat or on my Instagram that I did have one of those wraps, not It Works wraps. I had a neoprene wrap on while doing my cardio. That's completely different. I'm trying to sweat a little bit more in this area while doing cardio, I'm not walking around the house or sitting on the couch eating um, Cheetos with my It Works wrap on. They don't work. Don't fall for that. Don't fall for the new trend of, I don't know, whatever. Just don't take shortcuts. It's like everybody wants to do everything they can to lose weight except eat right and work out. But that's all you have to do. There's no secret. If you people say I know what my problem is my problem is I love junk food well there you go fix it stop eating the junk food and I know that that's hard and that might sound blunt but that's just me being real with you just don't do it if you know what the problem is then cut that out but the diet pills they don't work they kill your metabolism you they make you want to go all day long without eating and so then you're starving yourself and then the second that you start eating something again then you put the weight right back on so that's not the healthy way the healthiest way to lose weight is slow steady clean your diet up like i said get rid of the sodas um i didn't put this on here but i should have but i know everybody doesn't like going to the gym but if you don't like going to the gym it's a lot easier when you first start out if you get a gym partner, if you find a buddy, if you're like, hey, I want to start going to the gym. I mean, you can make it like a girl's night or a guy's night. You're hanging out, talking. I mean, go to the gym for a little bit. I used to do that with some of my girlfriends all the time. It was like fun time. It was like our time. It was like my time away from Eva when she was small. It was like my, my mommy time. We'd go to the gym, get on the treadmill, have our girl talk or whatever. And I mean, we loved it. I looked forward to doing that every day and so get you a gym buddy that always helps if you are just like no i'm not going to the gym it's just not going to happen then go for a walk if you have an animal take the animal for a walk like i see somebody walking the other way with a cat on the leash that would be crazy i meant like a dog if you have a dog take a dog um so anyways there is lots of things that you could do get a gym buddy start going to the gym and then some people think that um people stare at them at the gym I'm completely off subject I know like I said I've got diet brain um there was a girl who said to me the other day that she felt like people stare at her while she's at the gym and they might I stare at people when I'm at the gym but not because I'm staring to like be rude or anything I'm a people watcher one but sometimes I see somebody doing a workout or exercise that I haven't done before or I haven't seen before so I'm staring because I'm curious as to what they're doing and I'm like watching because I'm like ooh, I think I want to try that um, so if you see someone staring at you don't always think that it's for like a bad reason that they're staring because you look ridiculous because they could just be staring because um, they like what you're doing and they're like oh I think I might try that and something else for a tip for new people going to the gym, don't ever be afraid to ask for help. If you don't know what you're doing and 
you don't know how to work the machine or the cables and I know the dumbbell area for people who are just starting the gym can be intimidating that's usually like where all the guys hang out from the dumbbells I mean there's girls there too but don't be afraid to just step in there or ask somebody because most of the time if they're there and they look like they know what they're doing or even if they don't maybe they know a little bit more than you just ask for help and there's usually always people there to help you i know at both of the gyms i go to the staff is super super nice and at either gym i know that they would love to help anybody who asks just ask so i think that's it that's all my little tips for today um i hope that those were a little bit helpful for you um i will be two weeks out tomorrow from my show yay i can't wait i didn't video last night my epic cheat meal i say epic because oh my god it was so good and poor drew had to watch me eat this giant cheeseburger and fries i know he was like wanting to punch me in my face and i was really trying not to you know like make sounds and let him know how much I was enjoying it <laughs> but it was good I got to have a cheeseburger and fries so that was great I really really enjoyed that and I love that and probably no more up until show day or after the prejudging so just two more weeks um so I'm going to finish up some meal plans that I'm doing. I have a girl wanting a recipe for pumpkin pancakes. Mmm, sounds yummy, huh? So, I'm going to send that to her. I'm going to go to the gym tonight and work out legs. I might bring the camera along so you guys can see. I did have a girl at the gym ask me to do a booty video, which is really part of the bikini division. They really like that hamstring and glute tie-in. So, I might bring the camera along with me and try to get that in but first this i gotta eat and i will see you guys later and i hope that those tips were helpful if anybody has any other tips um that might be helpful please leave them below i would love to love to read them i i love learning new stuff um so yeah i'll see you guys later hey, no, no, no.